Megan Chin with here, Style Director of Southern Femme, and I'm here with my weekly Style Secrets with Megan video series. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about a feature I actually did recently in Birmingham Magazine. We're going to be teaching you how to tie scarves you already have in your closet in unique and fun ways. For the first scarf, I'm going to teach you how to tie a classic silk square scarf. And this is a way that you might have seen before, but it's something that really can make your outfit pop and make you feel really pulled together. So first you take a classic silk scarf about this size, very simple, you fold it in half like so. Now we're gonna use our mannequin as our model and just drape it ever so slightly. You wanna make sure that you still have a V-neck happening here so it's not too close to your neck and simply tie it in a knot in the back to secure it and keep the knot relatively small so it's not poking up into your hair. So simple. The second scarf technique that you can try at home is the twisted necklace. All you need is a scarf that's more lightweight, not too chunky, that is more of this rectangular shape. So here's what you do. First, drape it over your neck and make sure the ends are even. Next, tie just a simple knot. And here's a great trick. You wanna make sure the knot is hitting at your natural waist so that it really creates a beautiful V-neck and it's very flattering. So, now that you have this, take one end and simply twist and very tightly twist it too. You wanna make sure that it's very tight. And keep twisting until you get to the end and then you just tie it in a knot to secure it. And now we do the other side. And again, make sure to keep it really tight. And it's okay if little pieces pop out, it gives it a really organic shape. And again, tie it in a knot right here to secure it, kind of pull it, et voila. The third technique you can use is called the pretzel. This again is very simple, but it looks more interesting than just your basic loop or knot. So take a heavier scarf, this will be great for fall winter. Again, this kind of long rectangular shape. And you just drape it around your neck just like you would if you were looping it through. You wanna make sure that both sides are even like so. But instead of putting both through your loop, through the hole, just put one. So just put one through there like that. Then this other piece that's not through the loop yet put it through, but going the opposite direction so that it twists. And then just kind of make it look nice. And there you go. So this is a great look for those cooler days. Maybe you're wearing a jacket and you want something closer to your neck, or it's a great way to just transition in fall and wear this over a t-shirt. The fourth way you can take a basic scarf and update your look is what I call the updated cow neck. So it works best with either a lightweight scarf like this or you can go with a heavier fall winter scarf, but it works best with a square scarf. But if you don't have a square scarf, let's take this rectangular guy again and here's how you can make it work. So just take the two opposite ends like that, drape it around your neck just like a cow neck. Then cross and pull it back around. And now take the two ends to one side, tie it in a small tight knot. Again, just like the first scarf, make sure that you have enough space here so it creates a really nice pretty line. So how do you wear this scarf? This one's very similar to the pretzel in that it's really fantastic with even just a t-shirt um, for transition weather. But I also really love it if you want to do it with um, a dress, like a cute little casual fit and flare dress. Again, it's like doing a big statement necklace. It really just ups your look. The last way you can take a basic scarf and update your look is what I call the choker. So this one works really well with a thinner scarf. And when I say thinner, just not as wide. So something like this, that, and it definitely has to be a rectangular shape. I love this one because it's nice and warm, but it's not too bulky. So here's how to do it. 
Just simply drape it around your neck and make sure one side is much longer than the other. Now, we're gonna take the longer side and we're gonna twist. And just like in the twisted necklace, we wanna make sure it's really tight. So twist, 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 and as you're twisting, you wrap it around your neck, almost like a turtleneck or a choker. Just keep twisting, bring it back around. And now you make your second layer, just right on top of that first twisted layer. Again, keep twisting, keeping it tight, and then kind of swivel it around. So now you want to take the two ends, you wanna make sure they're even, so kind of swivel it around until the two ends are even. But so we have to secure it. So we take the ends and put it through the top layer. And here we go, put it through the top layer to secure it. The choker scarf technique works really well with a scarf that has fringe at the ends because it creates again some interest. And this whole scarf technique works really nicely on those super cold days when you're wearing a coat and you just want some interest up by your neck. So if you like this video, definitely make sure to check out southernfem.com. On there, you can sign up for my free 25 favorite style tips and get more videos like this straight to your inbox. Also, I want to thank you so much for being with me every week, learning all about these fabulous style tips and tricks. So if you're ready to take it to the next level, if you're ready to go deeper in your style journey, I highly recommend my Style Yourself Chic in 30 Days virtual program. I invite you to check out my site, southernfem.com slash register for all the juicy details. And don't wait because tonight at midnight, we're actually ending registration. Thanks so much and I hope to see you soon.